So there's a concept I need to, I'll share with everybody <clears> that <throat> allows, it sets context for what I'm about to say. Okay. The less developed a, a piece of land is, or the less improvements a piece of land has, the higher the profit potential. <laughs> okay. So think about it. If I have, you know, if I have a house that I know I'm going to do a rehab on, right. I can only make so much profit. You know, people try to get in there, you know, 15, 20% if they're lucky and call it a day. Right. There's only so much profit available because it's already built up. There's only so much you can do with it. Right. Now, if I took a, a piece of property that let's say it's already been entitled, it's zoned, it's subdivided for lots, well, I can sell those lots off uh, and I can make more money than I can on this one individual property, mm. but I'm still limited in what I can create based on the market. Right. If I have a thousand acres of land anywhere, right. The world's my oyster. Now I got to come up with the concept development for it, but I can, you know, if I can get it for dirt cheap, which generally you can, or I can get it no money down, which means my capital is not spent on the land it's spent on the business development. I can create a concept for that property that allows me to profit a thousand, 2000%, if not more. And that's the point. Can I profit 20% off of a couple hundred thousand or can I spend a couple hundred thousand on, on a certain amount of acreage and profit a thousand or 2000%. And that's the, that's the, to do that's the, that's the understanding. So again, the less improved the property is, the more profit potential it has. Now, that being said, um, generally I look for a specific type of seller. I look for somebody that has lots of land or land for sale, excuse me. They don't need the money right now. The uh, generally it's owned free and clear, right? And they're open to uh, getting paid later, right? And they don't necessarily need to sell the property right then either, right? So this is just like almost a passive play for them. And basically offer them this. I say, look, we like to you know, work with us for two years. I don't want to put my money into the land. I want to put my money into the development of the concept that I create for it. That's where I want to put my capital. And then with that, uh, if we pay you off in six months, we'll pay you the price that you're asking. Fair market. I'm not going to negotiate with it. Like you, if you want, I don't know, 2000 an acre and that's what it makes sense. And that's what the fair market value is. I'll pay for that. Right now, if we'll, we'll pay you up to 25% more for your land on the back end. If you're willing to work with us, depending on how long it takes. So we generally give to your option. The first six months, we pay you the money that you owe. The second six months, we'll add 8.33% to it. The third six months, we'll add another 8.33% to it. And then the last six months, we'll add 8.34, totaling 25% over what you're asking for. Now, everything we do is to get paid off in six months, but what it does is it allows us to get the opportunity to get in, get control of the land, put our capital to the business development, and then any improvements we generally do, um, if for some reason we don't perform, which we haven't yet, we haven't not performed yet, uh, we forego uh, or we forfeit whatever improvements we do to land as, as liquidated damages. Hmm. 